thought you had problems right from the beginning today. What happened? I've, you know, I've, I've always taken all the excuses, and I've said our team goofed, and I've always covered up for a cheap mechanic, but if anyone gets it this year, it's Tommy Smith. I ran 198 in this car in practice, and I ran 197 in practice, getting get ready to qualify, and Tommy changed the entire throttle system last night, the night before a race, and only an idiot would do that. Either he goes, or I'm going with another team. Right off the bat, the throttle system wide open going into one. I had to stand on the brakes. He puts new brakes in the car, and we're going down to the first lap. He just don't do it. The best team I've ever had. We selected them. They've done a great job. Tommy should have been let go, and I'm not making any excuses, and I'm not driving. We're going to stay here. Stay full. The special is going to go out. At the end of the race, we're going to be there. So I'm not quitting. We're going to be there. You're not going to fire him yet, then? Huh? You're not going to fire him yet, after the race. No, Tommy's not working on a car anymore. It's not, it's not a such thing as firing. I begged the man. I put up with him since 1972. He won't listen. You don't make changes the night before a race. You just don't do it. I talked to six top drivers. They do not do it, but he does. Absolutely incensed Salt Walter, and we understand Tommy Smith has left the pit, although they're still working on the car, and is picking up his gear in Gasoline Alley and is going to leave the racetrack.